Hi everyone, this is part four. <laughs> and the next video will be the reveal, I promise. And I'm hoping it'll be the week of Thanksgiving. Give you guys something to look at if after your Thanksgiving meal and you return home or before. I am not sure. Well, this is what it turned out like. I have stressed myself a little bit more by cutting down three more branches after I've already filled it up. So I have a little uh, garden shovel that I'm going to try to dig some rocks out and put them in this bucket and hopefully stick these branches down in there. The reason being, I want this to look full 360 degrees. I'm thinking this front section is fine. I have it in the middle of the art, as you can see. This is my first time ever trying this and definitely wasn't a good idea to do it on such a massive scale. <laughs> I have zip tied two of the heaviest branches together. The reason being, I love one of these branches so much. This is, it was pruned from this cutting point. And which is, this is the part that was attached to the tree. And of course, you can see the stem of it was not that long. I zip tied it. To the thickest branch that I had that came from that one tree I'm gonna cut these branches but I loved the way that branch was so much I could have cut it down the middle here I could have cut it down the middle here and ended up with two branches but and they probably could have went different ways but i just love that why in there and i went with it i had those zip ties on hand and i went with it so far this project has only cost me the pebbles i got them from a local hardware store 20 bucks I also have spray paint on hand. Cheap $3 can of spray paint from Lowe's in white. Just in case I spray paint it white. But let me try to show you guys how I'm going to try to poke these other three branches into. <laughs> Excuse me into this pot and have dry mouth i want some branches to come from this gap if you can see that um and it'll probably be this thickest one because it angles up and out so i'm gonna probably put, look at that yellow jacket these yellow jackets don't want me to be great I'm so scared they're going to go up my dress. I want a branch to come here. here, And I'm going to see how that looks. And then I decide where the other ones need to go. The, all three of them may come from there, but I doubt it. I think that would be enough there. So let's see if I can get this footage on camera for you guys. <clears throat> I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know it's long. I know it's do, doing everything on a whim with no plans at all. <laughs> but, oh, excuse me. That's how I like it. Everything is organic. Let's see if I can put that there. And we are still recording. Okay. All right, here goes. And I don't know how it's going to go. Let 
this was the worst thing to do but that's gonna be my best solution because my son is like <laughs> uh, I said I want to take it down I cut down three more branches and he didn't say anything but that was saying a lot <laughs> who could relate to that besides I don't want to lose the form I mean guys when I cut these other three branches down I was so sick and frustrated with my mind but I came up with this plan I'm always gonna have something on my head because I believe in pitch I don't want anything climbing getting in my ears or my hair so let's see you guys where I am. After this step, it's spray painted if I choose to, string in the light. May put some ornaments on here. And then I am going to reveal it.
get a right and break up all these leaves because oh, this is a thorny tree. And oh, that is a long stem on here. I think it's necessary. I just want to, and this is the part that is pointing at the house, not even the street. But I already cut the branches down. I pruned them just like I showed you guys in another tutorial. Why am I doing this? My brain. This is what's inside of my brain. It has to come out. It has to come. It's been a dream of mine to do the Grant, Fallen Grant Christmas tree. I wasn't really trying to do it on this scale. But it ended up being on this scale. Because I was going to make these nine branches. Um, two trees. But I only had this one pot. I am trying to use as much as I have already. I don't want to spend over $50 have lights and if I don't it's gonna be an ornament tree I think I already have lights I hope they work they're old lights I hope I don't get an incoming call. of mine. Getting down is easier than getting up. Okay. Okay. Careful. Show you this hole. We're going to use this branch. It's not deep as I would like because this other one is all the way at the bottom of that blue bucket. So, let's see. I may have to zip tie it, but that's okay. Uh. I really want to check to see what they're still filming more than anything. And this has thorns, so I'm going to try to be careful. It, 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 I don't even need gloves, to tell you the truth, because... Um, okay. Because the gloves, it was still, these thorns were so bad, it was still pierce the, through the gloves. So, and once I get it standing up, I'll probably prune it more. Try 
to go up. Let's try to go up. And twist it. The head wrap. Oh no, this is too tight. This is too tight. That was not pleasant. That was not pleasant at all. I'm not happy about that. thinking about putting those other two in there before I fill it back up. Yeah. 
my camera because I only have these two little small branches to put. I am pretty sure I am over 20 minutes. I'm right at 20. So let's end the video here showing you guys I was able to put this branch down in that hole and I'm gonna lean it out to give it some a little bit of the branching how I want it I wanted that curved branch I broke a branch that's okay I wanted that curve to come out and that is what it's doing that's what it that is what it's giving and i think i'm a i want a branch if not those other two or i want one on each side one here and one on this side here so we're going to end the video here thank you guys for watching please comment like and subscribe Stay tuned.